Thank you. Okay. Um, if we could, let's take a look at the minutes from last week's uh, meeting. Yeah, I just want to make sure that um, the OPEB dollar amount is correct. That's what I had, and I was, I, I told, I told Brenda that I wanted to take a look at what you had on the, uh, on the minutes to make sure that it agreed. So I did have ten thousand bucks. So at least the two of us are in agreement. I had that in my notes also. Right, the ten thousand. Okay. So right, that's like what we voted. Yes. Uh, but I didn't know what the initial value would have been. For us, it was zero, right? It was zero. Yeah. And that's the same way with the uh, well, test well monitoring budget, the revote. We approved 60, now it went to 50? We, yeah, we had originally approved 60. Okay. They're not going to need 60. Right. So, so those numbers It are went correct. to 50, yes. Yeah, yeah. So those numbers are correct. And in fact, they're recommended. Or their request that I think is now 50. Yes. Well, um, most of the discussion I left as I have been leaving to a general discussion of what we did have talked about mm -hmm. and then refer to the YouTube video of the meeting for further details. It's just too much to take notes. During discussion like that, say that again. There's too much to take notes I, during that discussion. Yeah. This, this is this is funny. No, I know, I know. I'm not. That was this my is more than I would have, Bruce. <laughs> this this is probably it. It means it makes better sense. Gives a general description. Yes. This yes. is probably adequate. Just this page. Oh, I realize that. So. Except for the additional discussion in the handouts. Yeah. If you like a set of minutes, this is a set here if you like. Motion to move the March 28th, uh, 2018 minutes is uh, printed. I'll second it. It's moved, seconded. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Four, Four zero. Zero. Yep. zero. Okay. <coughs> uh, everybody, there's a, there's a month end report. Uh, I don't, you know, unless we had a chance to take a look at it. Probably not. Right. It's going to be That's kind of difficult to discuss it, so put that aside. Um, there are a couple items right here on top. in the budget that we've been requested to either take a look at for basically the first time or for the second, third, or fourth time. Carolyn asked us to take a look at the Board of Health. I said we'd take a look at it. Does anybody want to do anything else with that? Uh, we had asked her to come explain. She said she wasn't available. And uh, then I'm not willing to change it. <laughs> so it's fine with me. But I, I told her it's going to stay the way it is. I mean, if I just don't think if it's, especially on the tick control or tick testing, if, if your insurance company will pay for the testing, there's no reason for us, why, to, pay. For us to pay. Yeah, right. And that was the question I wanted her to answer. Yeah. And if she not want to answer it, that's fine. You still, the person still has to pay $20. I, I, I told her. Under her new proposal. There's 45, I don't know, 50, whatever it is now, but it, it's 20 the town pays and 20 the resident pays. Right. I, I just don't understand it. I told her that, you know, it would, in all likelihood, would stay where it is. Uh, if she wants to raise it back up, then she can do that on town meeting floor. Yep. Uh, that, you know, I didn't ex think that we probably would get up and, and uh, other than a quick explanation and let it go at that. That's it. That's all I want. Okay. If she wants to do on time 84, that's fine. So what was the reduction? I wasn't here that meeting. I assume one was the 11,000. Well, 11,000 held. Look, look at it on this. 
on here, Bruce. Yeah, it's on the it's second yeah, page. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's thir down 13.5. Yeah, yeah, well, right. 26, 8, 46 is the, right. what but, we recommend. But uh, <clears throat> I'm just wondering what line items were deducted. Oh, uh, the last one. The last item in the um, uh, chart. What number is it? There's, there's a uh, 512, 5,400. Yeah. Um, it should be. There should be one or two items that add up to 13.5. That's, tick, what, I, that's tick, what I don't see. That's tick, tick testing. I don't even think we have a current one, to be honest with you. Well, the tick testing was 4,000. Mosquito control was 11. So. Well, it went from 1,500 to 4,000. But I believe they voted. What did they vote? I'm not sure. Um, 152,5400, right? Uh, no, 512, 5400. Uh, 512, 5400. Looks like the Sutton voted on 214. They voted the entire amount, 4346, which included a $2,500 increase from when we voted it down. And the increase was in the line item for tech, tick testing. Okay, so. Tick right. testing increased by 2500. Or was it the other way around? No, it's the, it's, it didn't go down. Because um, I have a new sheet dated. Okay, immaterial, but it was those two lines mosquito control and tick testing. Well, actually, let me back up. It might have went down. I oh, know, excuse me. It was 216 and 26, two yes. So it went up. Tick testing went up $2,500, and mosquitoes stayed the same. So what they voted was 40346 Yep, okay. An increase of almost 14 percent. Okay. So another example of changing the budget once the process has started. Yeah. And yeah. Thank you. It was 1,500. It so was what a new we, item. What did we actually vote? Uh, I was going to say we may want to take a look at the. Uh, I didn't. I don't have the minutes. So if you have the minutes, uh, it's someplace or. They're, yeah. They're, they're. They're in there. Okay. I'll see if I can remember to look at the minutes. <clears throat> well, I sent all the minutes, I think, except for the last two meetings. The Good, two. Because 11 and 1500 comes up to 12.5, uh, not 13.5. That was the end. 11 and 1500. Well, you said it went up, uh, the tick testing went up 2500. So I think from it wasn't. One, from 15 to 4,000 dollars. Right. So the, originally it was 1500. Yeah. Plus the 11,000. Would give you twelve five that you didn't vote, which we we voted the whole right. Okay, then where was it? Where's the other thousand? Because it's 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 down thirteen five. Maybe she went back down to twenty five hundred. So I'll, we'll take a look. I think there's it. another sheet. To okay, be we did come down. There is a the. Do you have the February fourteenth? No. It's February fourteenth, twenty eighteen. And we looked at that on February 21st. We'll, we'll take yeah, a look at it. We're yeah, not yeah. going to do anything with it tonight. Yeah, right. All right. And we did bring that number down to the 26846. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the salaries and expenses are not in there for the wastewater treatment plant. They, Brenda has those. We voted them, no. What's that? We voted both of those. Yes, yes, she has. That's what I meant. <coughs> I talked with her to make sure that we would, we, we have, we left one dollar in for the Smith folk tuition, and I talked with her, her to make sure that that would cover the other two items that are listed underneath there, and she says yes, it will. Uh, um, we know that Smith Folk is at least seventeen thousand, don't we? Mm. The, uh, it's been withdrawn. The kid's not going. Oh. So yeah. Okay. I, so there's no I chance to last week, didn't I? No. Yeah. You did? Yep. That's okay. So. It's all That's right. Fine. It was. It was it, at the end when you're throwing all the papers out. Of it. Yep. More or less. <laughs> uh, so the dollar is just to cover, just to have. Continue the line item to be open. Right, to have the Do we have to vote a dollar? We did. Didn't we? 
No. Okay, let's vote right, it then. We better vote that. 214. No. That's what it's listed in here is 214. Yeah. $1. Dollar. Motion to uh, put $1 in the uh, Chapter 74 Smith vocational tuition. I'll second that. It's moved. It's seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So noted there. Just to, uh, OPEB funding. Do we want to do anything with OPEB funding? Uh, we we talked about that last week, and we actually re did no vote. That's, that's no, fine. we revoted last meeting. Yep. Yes. Ten thousand. The uh, the question was, would you take another look at it? And I said, all right, sure, I'll take another look at it. So we're we're satisfied with that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Capital stabilization. The uh, the selectmen voted to put two hundred thousand dollars in capital stabilization, and uh, the question is, what would we like to do? And I guess let's let's bring into the discussion uh, where we think that uh, stabilization fund. What should be what that stabilization fund should be funded at before it becomes operational. We have what two hundred thousand in it. There's two hundred thousand in it now. We typically spend between one hundred and fifty and say three hundred thousand a year, and it seemed to me that at least five hundred, maybe as much as seven hundred thousand dollars in total, and if we put it in over three years, uh, maybe seven hundred or fifty thousand. But between two fifty and seven fifty, I don't want to fill it up at this point to that, but. If you want to, we certainly can look at, discuss that. <coughs> and and the idea is, and just correct me if I'm wrong, the idea is that at some point in time, once we've reached that level, it'll be up to the, uh, then, then we will put in something, whether it's two hundred dollars or $250,000 a year, but at least enough to bring it back to that level or, or less, and it will be up to the Capital Improvement Committee to, to make that recommendation. Yeah, to uh, take the dollars out of that. That's the funding source for the capital improvement. What was, the, what was the revenues for the uh, building fund, building inspector's office and so forth? You said yourself that they should not, and I agree with you, you know, those kind of fluctuating revenues should not be used to support the budget and maybe what, to, what is the total of those revenues? And maybe Which revenues? All these fluctuating revenues that uh, the permit permit fees and so forth. Uh, maybe that's what we should figure on is a minimum to be putting in the capital budget. Well, we don't know that. I don't know. Well, well don't we didn't know last year's, but we don't know this year's. Yeah. Right. And they won't even give us an estimate. No. I had, I was thinking about this a little bit, and I was thinking maybe we need to establish a policy on this. And yeah, I vote a policy, establish a policy, and have some reasoning for what the money, the, the upset limit should be. And to me, it needs to be based on what we have for a capital plan. Until all the departments complete the capital plan, I don't think we can create a policy. Right. We can just throw money at it right now. Right. That's my feeling. Yeah. I, I have a tendency to agree with you to an extent, Bruce, because uh, that five year capital plan is definitely a work in progress and needs additional work. <clears throat> There's a lot of things that have not been accounted for yet that need to be reviewed. Uh, I would like, as Skip said, to maybe, uh, and this is just coming from me, obviously the committee had recommended the 500 yep. uh, with the budget I, and with with where we're at with a capital uh, improvement plan because there is room for growth there. I can see what Skip's talking about as far as maybe doing a cost average for two or three years here to build that stabilization mm -hmm. fund up. And that might not be a bad way to go to start off for the first couple of years of funding this. And then hopefully as that takes place, 
we'll be able to transition into a little bit better of a capital improvement plan. So as you were saying, Bruce, we could identify those needs a little bit better and create a policy at yeah, that point. I don't know if you have yours with you. Do you have your capital stabilization plan with you? I, I do. I have a copy of it. The reason I, when I brought up last week was, but if you took out the school and the library, mm -hmm. but left in the bid ready plan specs, which they had, there was an EMS, <coughs> South County EMS chase vehicle or something on there too? Yeah. Yes, there's uh, we're over a million dollars in request for 2020. For when? To 2020. Uh, 2020 projected is 8.4 million. But take out the seven million for the school. Oh, system. yeah, for the library, right? The library, but leave in 600 thousand with bid ready plan and fix. They're going to come back next year and still want those. Mm -hmm. The question is, are, we, are you going to provide the, the same guidance? We need to be awarded the project first before we do the bid ready plan inspects. But well. I mean, if we have whatever that total is, and we don't have um, the EMS building, which is something we're going to own, you know, we responsible for something there, right? It's going to be capital improvements there. It's well. our building. Or are we going to let somebody do work on our building? With the EMS building? Yeah. That would probably come out of retained earnings out of the rent. Anything interior? Or rent. That we don't know. See, so yeah, I'm moment. saying. Right. I, I don't that's, know. Someone was talk, the generator was talked about. That's for the. Right. They would add that to the building. Um, well, if it's going to be our building, I, I would almost assume that that would have to come out of the rent and not be. Distributed right. so accordingly. I, I I agree, but nobody's done that yet. So there's an unknown. The idea from uh, board of oversight meetings that I've attended, uh, the idea has been expressed that with the town's rent, different towns paying into the rent, yep. that that money would be set aside for the maintenance of that building and that's the what, needs of that. That's building. what I've heard from right from our uh, stock board. Right. That's what I've heard, but we don't have a dollar amount. We, it's exactly. going to be one of those things, you know. We we're putting it the eighty thousand all this year because they didn't know how much it's going to cost, how mm -hmm. much we're going to charge. It's going to be just like it was with EMS to begin with. They had a lot of retained earnings. Right. Well, until somebody comes up with a dollar figure, it's going to make take maybe take a year or two, if if we. I don't know, we're not going to pay for heat, electricity, all that's going to be... It would, right. it would kind of be nice uh, <laughs> if, if, somebody an would, if somebody would have the common sense to discuss those other than with the members of the Board of Select. Uh, someplace along the way, it's going to end up at town meeting, whether it's this year, next year, we're going to be asked to, to vote on it. Yep. And, you know, the decision supposedly will have been made by the selectmen. And then they will argue that, look, this is our decision to make, and we don't need your input, essentially. Well, that's fine, but I think well, there, there's a capital it's plan. Not, it's not needs fine. To be it's a, there's a capital plan, there's a finance exactly. committee. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at. There's a capital plan that needs to be developed for the Skims building. If we if we end up getting the church, there's a capital plan that's going to be needed for that mm -hmm. building. Right. I, and some of these other things that they've talked about on their incentives list, the Slutman's incentives, sidewalk replacement, Elm Street. As far as I know, that's not going forward. It's not coming because, forward now, but that's right. it's going to come forward next year, I it's can something. tell you. Yeah. No. Well, that's why I say, so, you know. But I, are we going to have enough money? Right. I, mean, I understand it, there's a little... Yeah, you might be banking money again next year and and not spending any money out of it. Right, you're gonna to have to use all free cash to do all the capital mm -hmm. improvements. If but again, 
we don't know how much we really need to bank mm -hmm. in case we have a year where we need to use it. Right. Well, or are we going to start using it after we reach a certain amount? Well, the, the other side of the coin is, okay, they're again just using the highway department one. You know, they've got $115,000 a year. Exactly. Right off the bat. Before you, yep. before right. you consider absolutely anything else. Before you do anything, anything else. else. Yep. Anything right. else. I agree. And maybe it's a little high, but it's not, you know, you look at the age of the equipment and everything else, I don't think it's really that far off. If you look at, So even $100,000 a year, okay? Yep. Before you even start. So if you're not funding it as a minimum of $100,000, you're not even going to keep up with the highway department, much less anything else. And uh, the other side of the coin is it seems like whenever we have free cash and it's, everybody says it's free cash, well, let's see if we can spend it. At least if it's in the capital fund, it takes a two-thirds vote to come out of it. That's, that's no, I agree. my and, thought and, process, and, you know, too. I hate to, hate to think that way, but it I is hate, what it is. Right. As we all know, I think we all hate the term free cash it's, because no. people, people get the wrong impression. Yeah, it's, it's, Taxpayers, right? Money they've already paid plus any new growth. And and we know that we are going to have capital projects. I agree, Bruce, that we don't have a detailed plan yet. But I think we're, as I said, it's it's a work in progress. We're making making some progress. No, I agree. I, I don't. I'm not saying it's. Oh, I'm not. Right. not, I'm not on your side. capital. Right. I'm no. No. I, I understand. General, it's, a, it's a tough situation. It really in, is. In general, we. We don't know how much money we need. Right. So yeah. How much do we really want to put in and to a point where then we start using it. Right. So no, man, we, no matter what you do, any capital, improve, enough. any capital improvement you're going to do, you're going to have to hire an architect right off the bat. Right. Okay, so you're going to start off no matter what you do with 200000 Depending on, you know, temp, well, that's only right. $2 million the, uh, building. Yeah, right. that's what I'm saying, but that's a minimum. Now, even if you want to try to do something with the uh, church over there, if we ever get up, you know, by the time you bring in somebody to redesign that and so forth, and you know, if if it decides that they want to go forward with it, or the or the uh, uh, senior center, uh, I you know, last I, last uh, when was that survey done? Four or five years four ago. Four or five was and, yeah. and to stabilize it was two million dollars. I understand. Not to do anything with it. Right. But to mm -hmm. stabilize it. You know, now so that, but now I believe this talk to. Convert that if we go to if the seniors go to the church, right? So that's what I'm saying. So so no matter what you do, you've got two hundred thousand dollars for an architect. No matter what you do, right off the right. Road. So there's three fifth three fifteen to, to right. start exactly yeah. without you know, so, doing anything. So you know, so is six or thousand? We we know we have um, a stabilization fund, right? General stabilization, which is one point two. That one point two is the number that I heard. I don't know if it's. I don't that know if it's right, but it's, it's close enough. But you have you have roofs on all the buildings. So you want to need it. <sighs> it hasn't nothing has been put away. I, that's uh, you know you've got your mechanical systems that are. So the more we put failing. away, the better off we are. Is my feeling. You know, it's 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 not going to sit there for long. Believe me, you know it's going to. You know, it's going to go. Plus, as Bruce mentioned before, I like the idea of it takes two thirds vote to get it out of there. And hopefully that'll make people pause a little bit and take a look at what's really happening in town and realize that we do have some issues here that need to be addressed. And maybe people will be a little more careful. And uh, I know a lot of people are already, but there definitely is a difference between wants and needs. Yeah. So can we talk about, we got a t total budget pretty close now, right? Mm -hmm. we, we do, and we've got information here that we can talk about in that. Okay, which, um, which can come back to how much back to how use much? this year, how much we're going to put aside this year, how much we need to retain this year for next year's free cash. Mm -hmm. We can have that discussion, I think, we can. later this evening. Yep, yeah. that's, that's and fine with me. We'll have it more than once. Yep, but we could. <laughs> but I think it once. needs to be discussed, and it is, but it is part of the capital stabilization. I think. I don't think we can discuss the number until we have that other discussion. Yeah, I had a question for you. Did you get a, I talked with the selectman and Wendy, or individually with the selectman, about rewriting, in this case, deleting the school building uh, bylaw and substituting a general building bylaw. 
I have seen nothing. All right. I will get it to you. I gave it to them. They said they were going to give it to you rather than put it on. I wanted to go on town meeting on the warrant. Uh, they said it was going to you as the bylaw study. Yeah. So it'll be, a, it'll be a, like a town building committee? Yes. Yeah. That's, I think that's definitely a need. And it would not. It would not be involved with the capital improvement plan. That is the separate. you know the, separate. That's a you know the, the, the equipment. You know some of the. Like, I mean, somebody should. You know, I, I agree 100 percent with you, but so, somebody in our town, maybe a town administrator, should be speaking with Sunborn. They have hired a consultant, an architect, to look at all their buildings, determine. All the systems, what they need, all the structural issues, how long you plan to be there, come up with a capital plan, and that's already in process and will be finalized in about two months. All the time. And I'm curious, where did they get the money for that? How much is that? They I don't know. That's, I have that's, that's what I'm saying. Too. But it's being done, and that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. well, let me let me ask you, you know, this bylaw that you're talking about, uh, it's not the already close to warrant. Can they open it up and throw it at there? They can there? open it up. Okay. Will they? I doubt it. Well, how are you going to get a bylaw passed? Then? Well, we may not get one passed oh. this year. Yes. That's maybe that's why she hasn't gotten it to me. But we won't be able to get a study done either no. of all of our buildings if we don't have it under warrant. Yeah, right. So, I mean, I think and I, I mean, it's I, something we're going to have to look at for definitely for next year because that will make the capital improvement planning much, much easier. You'll have of course it at would. least the buildings and then you'll be looking at their right. operational needs, their, their equipment needs, all those type of things. We, you we want to worry about buildings. Right. We started working on a list uh, last year. Actually, John started pushing for as far as all the assets in town. And I uh, do have a copy of that list. And with what's gone on so far with the capital improvement plan that we have not been able to get to that list. But that's part of the plan to do this year. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to start addressing that. So, there are some areas that were assigned to certain people. Yep. And that's, that's very difficult. Sometimes it gets completed and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, this, let's put this back on the slide. Mm -hmm. Right now, because they're still dealing with the capital improvement budget. They're trying to determine how much it's going to cost to do this, the study yep. for the sewer study group. Mm -hmm. And that needs to be, and we all passed on that. They took the responsibility to, to put that number on as a capital improvement for the study. Remember that night? It was only a straw vote. There was no formal vote. That's paper. right. So why don't we ask them to put another number on mm -hmm. for a building study? And we just need to get the information from Sunderland. We can get a cost. I think we need to go back to the slot and say this is what we want. So Capital Improvement Committee should request them to put a number on. We put a number on for, for the, the church. No, I, I understand what you're saying. Oh yeah, but that that was that was. Uh, I don't know whether you can still do it because you've gone past the public meeting and so forth at this point. But no, the Slutman had the ability. Yeah. Well, because it wasn't mentioned at the public meeting. Right. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, we I don't. I, I, we certainly we, can we talk. We can always to ask. Can, I'd like to move on and get some of this other stuff and then come. No, back I agree. Okay. We can sit here the rest of the night and not give me well. So what do we want to do as far as the uh, capital, capital improvement committee's capital stabilization fund? Well, then, then, then I'll ask the question. How much money is, is, does this budget have committed to it already? 200000 which is what the selectmen requested. How much is it? How much is being used to balance the, the total? Oh, but if you want, we can take a look here. Well, that's what I think. Before we can say, well, the two hundred. If, if they use two hundred thousand, how much have they used already? So, 
if you take take a look at this, this one here, the revenues. Yeah, revenues and expenses. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the revenue. So you've got the tax levy. You've got cherry sheet. Uh, overlay reserve. That, you know, that's a deduction of sixty thousand bucks. Would you like to copy that? Have a seat. And then we've got local receipts total. That is an estimate, 1.682 S thousand. And I'm not exactly sure what the number is, but what what I believe Brenda did was to add up the last five years of actual numbers, and I've got those numbers here. Divide it by five, and then take either 80 percent or 75 percent of that and plug it in. The uh, the number that we are can probably expect is in the 2.2, 2.3 million range. Yeah, she said she expected to have an additional 600,000. Yeah, so that that brings it up to two point between 2.2 yep. and 2.3 right. million. Mm -hmm. So that number is short. Understood. 600,000. Which would be the months. free cash for next year. Which, yeah. Uh, and then we've got a, a little bit more money. So total revenues, I'm going to add the 600,000 to that. 16.25 million. Is that? That's 600,000 more than what's there. Yeah, and, but I'm not sure. Okay. I'm just, just saying. Just, just for discussion purposes, yeah. so you can see that we would actually have the total number of dollars that, you know, when they, a year from now or 18 months from now, when they go to do the cap, uh, to the, to the recap, that number will be 16.6 or 16.2 million dollars. But we're going to use 15.6 right now. Right. Here are the expenses, and these are the expenses as the requested numbers. And you've got FinCom over there. And I believe they do agree with what's here. We don't have well, the, Let's assume the omnibus budget is 14, 6, 4. I saw that number, yes. Yeah. So and Actually, let's just use the requested figure since. Actually, the requested figure on the bottom is different. Total expenses. 15.8. Well, you got 14, you got 14.7 here. Yeah, plus. You've got 1.1. 1. 1. 1. So that's 15.8. Yeah. Uh, you've got somewhere in the neighborhood. What's the uh, $350,000 for, for three, capital requests? Seven, 375, that's down right, there. Yeah. Uh, three, 350. And then. Use of free cash is right there, three hundred fifty thousand. Uh, yeah, actually, I think it's a little bit more than that. But that's well, that's my point. Uh, you know, that's what I need to know before I say, okay, fine, let's put six hundred thousand of what we have in there. Because if we're only going to use one point three five, or in third, the total of those two, capital. I mean. Looks like she had 150 in the negative. She was short 150,000. The way I read it. Okay. Yeah. Oops. So if we take the FY 2009, that's 147, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to round it off at 14 million seven hundred thousand. One million. I'm going to round the next one million one hundred thousand. Yep. That's the uh, warrant articles. <clears throat> now, is there anything in the warrant articles that uh, no? Well, and then war we snow have, and ice. We don't know yet. Yeah, but just let's take the three three fifty. I really wish. Because I'd quickly gone over this and didn't recognize the difference here. And twenty-six thousand for the mower. Yeah. Uh, let me just change that to four hundred thousand instead of three hundred and fifty. So fifteen eight sixteen million two hundred thousand. 
You're, you're $400,000 over what the number they have. Well, I know, and I'm not sure why. So you got because 15, this 14. 15, 8, it all, it's all the 400. It's, what, it's free cash they're using it. Well, I'll take it out. Yeah. That's why it's back. Uh, so. That's it. It's a 349,000. 875 they're using for free cash brings it back. Okay, so days. that's not showing in the total, and it should be in it the bottom. It is body. showing in the total. It is. Where? Yeah, we're here. That is added. Is it What's this number negative. down here, total expense? 15.8. You had 16.4. The difference is about. But if I take this one, 14.7, and this one, one. comes up to 15.8, 15.06. These two numbers here add up to this, and I don't know why they do. Fifteen eight. Okay. Then right. the warrant articles are an extra. So right, I get you. I see what you're saying. And then the so camp what they they did fifty it was close to fifteen eight oh six. I think the wash is the use of free cash. So versus the capital budget. Expense. Yeah, I think what they're saying is they're washing the capital improvements. Yeah. Uh, and then that brings the total budget up to fifteen six, oh forty six, total revenue, and then total expense were hundred fifty thousand short. So we, so we need, we need to, to use get more it. free cash to balance the budget. One hundred fifty thousand. So right, right now we've used 350. Another 150 is 500. 500. We got 1.8. Mm -hmm. And and plus the plus the 350. So there. So, so 500. You know those two. 375. 375. Mm -hmm. Eight. Look at 300 more. Yeah, you know, we have a million almost left. We, we have a million. We have a million eight right now. Yeah, you know, I'm saying we use an eight hundred thousand. Where do you get that? Um, the three forty nine, three seventy five, and the the deficit of one fifty. Well, yeah, three three seventy five and one fifty is five twenty five. Plus the three forty nine. Oh, that, no, the, the three seventy five is the three forty nine plus the twenty six. Well, the three three seventy five is already included in the fifteen six sixty four, isn't it? No, no, it's not. that's re those are revenues. Three, 15, okay, 664. okay, I got you. Gotcha. I see it now. It doesn't oh, look right, but you're I right. Mean, yeah. So right now we're using five hundred thousand. And the total, the total expense. Yeah, it's, we're using five hundred. Basically, five hundred twenty-five. About five hundred thousand free cash to balance the budget. To balance the budget. Right. We got one. Leaves is one point three million dollars. Right. Which so gives you one point three. Now, million. Well, now we know we have one point three million. How much stabilization do we want to use? A million. And two hundred. There's already two hundred thousand of that in stabilization. I understand. So, yeah. do you want to make a, another million? No. I, I I'd go with the uh, capital request. Uh, the five hundred. Well, we haven't made our recommendation. They they want. They think five. Right. The select board, I think two. On the. They I they, think that's they approve the, two. They approve so, two. So mm -hmm. we're going to be asking for a lot more than two. Then what does the finance committee yeah, so want to recommend? The select board has only voted two out of the. They've left um, eight hundred thousand. Uh, no, they left one point three. So if we have one point three, one point one on the table. Right. No, one point three because two hundred thousand is in right. that. Uh, oh, it's already in it. Right, one point three on the table. So how much more do we want to increase it? Right. And how Brenda's much? Brenda's suggestion was to leave. Three or four hundred thousand for next year. I was going to say how over. much free cash, so-called free cash. So-called. So you could use another million. You could lock another million up into capital stabilization. There's there's something that's not showing up here, and I'm not sure what that is, and I, I'm a little bit. But I certainly. Uh, somebody wants to make a motion on capital stabilization. I don't know if we have enough information. I don't know if this is correct. I'd like to see. We could change the, the number in front of me. How much do we have left after this budget is balanced? And I don't know if we have that. 
No, if we make a motion, we can always re vote it next week. Oh, I, we, we still have time. You know, in which case, it, you know, we can plug that number in and see what happens. Brenda can uh, plug in a number. Plug in a number, vote for a number and plug it in. Um, we still don't know snow and ice, which I was hoping we would know. Um, which she has. We do have snow Is that correct, there? We do have snow and ice. They've got 56882 uh, requested. Yeah, and that, I thought that was the final. No, it's not. Uh, I asked Brenda, and she said 70,000 would be fine. Okay, so it's so if we wanted, we could change that to seventy thousand. What? Snow for and snow ice. And ice. Oh. Okay. We could put a recommendation in for seventy thousand for snow and ice. Well, we they got to have the total numbers to vote, right? We have to have the correct number to vote. Well, we won't have that until town meeting, and then we won't have necessarily have that until something shows up. But do well, we we're voting so one seventeen plus seventy. This is the overage. That's right. That's so right. So 187 is what you're saying. Yeah. Because last we we can't decrease the snow and ice from the previous year. Mm -hmm. And we voted 117, 10, I believe. Well, let, let me ask you something. Let's 102. Let me no, ask we're, you something. We're, we're only we're only. I don't know what last year's number was. So that's the total we spent. Eighty thousand dollars. It seems to me is that what was we what I thought. Eighty to ninety thousand. What we budgeted last yeah. year. Yeah, and that's not on the sheet. And well, well let me look, let, why let don't me we look just? Here. Why don't we? Well, let me ask you. Go something. ahead. Let me ask you something. Um, can the uh, snow and ice be covered <coughs> by the uh, reserve fund of this year? Be covered by no. what? No. I, I don't think so. Can it be covered by what? The reserve fund? Uh, probably not. I don't not think we have that much. We don't have that much in there. You don't have that much left. No. Uh, but we don't. Ha we don't technically have to do anything. So we, we, if, until we have a number for snow and ice, we can't vote it. I don't think. If we're going to vote ninety for what we had last year, but we're showing that there's an overage, I believe. Well, at least they voted. Slightly so, voted to. Allow an overage of whatever we voted last year. So, so we need we need two things. We need. A, let's go back here and make sure that it's. No, we put ninety thousand. Sorry, we put ninety thousand into snow and ice last year. This year, eighty-five last year. If you look back on page two, you'll see ninety thousand under winter snow and ice removal. Page two. Four twenty-three fifty four hundred. Okay, well, 423, 5400. Yeah, we did that 228. Yep, 90,000. Yeah, went from 85,000 okay. last year to 90,000. So we don't have to. We don't have to so we, we made the vote on what we think is going to be. We don't care about the overage at this point. We, if we vote $70,000 to cover the overage, that'll be more than adequate. And we can change that really on town meeting floor. We can't go up. We couldn't go over it, but we could go up. That's too. why I don't think. I don't think we need to even vote the over. The selectmen have already approved it. It's going to be an expense. It's going to be at town meeting. No, but no. Uh, well, they voted fifty-six thousand. I thought that was what they had at that time. That's what they have now until Kevin comes in, but he's not going to have all of his figures in until town meeting. Okay. Well, and, we're talking small potatoes. So. Yes. The selectmen have already voted. It's really not a recommendation. We made recommendation for next year. We're all set up. Nineteen. Well, no. 90, this is this is an item that's on the the warrant to pay a bill for eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's an eighteen, 18 bill. An eighteen bill that we have to appropriate nineteen funds to pay for. No. It's over ninety thousand. No, we would be taking it. We would be taking it out of free cash, and that could be spent any time after October first or whenever we got right. The free so cash whenever we leave in free cash, because it won't be right. We'll just spend it in free cash. That'll reduce so we don't have free to worry cash. about it. We'll reduce free cash. If we don't vote it and it comes in at seventy thousand, then 
and the town votes the 56, then there'll be 14,000 that the assessors fool around with them. And and the question is, we have to vote, I guess. I don't we know. don't actually technically have to vote. We don't even have to put the 56 in there. No. But the, they've got a number in there for the budget, which which utilizes free cash, because it can't be spent in the 19 budget year, right? Oh, yeah. It can be spent in either year. Either year. Either well, year. it has to be certified before it can be spent. It has free cash certified. does. But the expenditure that million. occurred in 18, we can appropriate money in 19 budget for it? Yes. We can use that $1.8 million. That was certified in... Understand. In 2018. So, so actually, that whatever the overage is is part of the $1.8 million that we have. We, it could be. Okay. If we don't do anything with it, and let's assume this 56 wasn't, if there was $0 there, yep. then at the end of the year, when the assessors go through their recap procedure, that will get added in. As an as an unpaid bill. Hello, it's about time you guys came to work. <laughs> we have a job for you too. We volunteered you for a job. Stop telling it for you. No, they just gave me a seat because I was here. So. What do we want to do? Do we want to do anything or not? We can do something next week. We, we are meeting next week. Yeah, I, I still want to just, I'd like to see, More the way I understand number. it, this is our free cash amount. Okay. This is how much we're committed to the budget, as it currently is on the selectman side, not on our side. We get shot down anyway. So the selectman's budget, well, if they've recommended approved, how much free cash are they using out of the one point eight million? Oh, time what? out. Time out. Let's go back to this thing. So I'm sorry. sorry. I thought it was eight hundred thousand we were using. No. If you look up on the revenues, bad choice. The last item in the revenues. Free yes, cash. Yep. One point one point one million. One point zero eight six. That makes much more sense. So, in saying. addition to that, five hundred and twenty-five thousand. If I read this correctly, that's the three hundred and seventy-five plus the one fifty plus the two hundred they've already used for stabilization. Uh, is a, is a total, but it's all of it. It's gone. No, the stabilization is part of this one point one one three. Okay, yeah, but it's still free cash. Well, it. It is probably, but well, unless you're going to raise appropriate, but. we could use well. You could do th you could use a raise and appropriate, and then you could change this number up here. Understand? To 1. That's what I'm saying. We can yeah. use as much. So, you agreed. So, if we have committed to the budget right now, one point one million six eighty six thousand one hundred forty five dollars mm -hmm. plus the capital expenditures of three forty. 350, 375 actually. Well, the yeah. 26 comes back to us. Mm -hmm. And they haven't added in whatever they're going to use for the sewer. So let's just say 1.4 million they've used for this budget. At least 400,000 to carry over for next year. So if we, and if we believe what Brenda says, we, <coughs> we could have $600,000 in this budget in next year's free cash certification. Mm -hmm. Plus whatever we have this year left, we don't use, we mm -hmm. could end up with a million again. Yep. But if we spend all of the free cash, commit all the free cash to stabilization, the remaining 400000 that we have not committed yet, make stabilization 600000 then there would be minimal free cash left to carry for next year. Do you want to do that? Fine with me, I like said. I, but I, I don't want to commit more than we have. Right. No. No. But uh, we so, need to, so we if need we to go to the five hundred, it would leave a little bit left. What do you think the, we should the, carry the, over the, for so-called free cash? Brenda said two to three hundred thousand. That's what her suggestion was. Yeah. So, so she so thinks we will because we spend about a million a year. 
So you're, you're but that's no, that's pending no capital stabilization. Mm -hmm. If if we carry over, let's say we carry over two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred thousand, we can anticipate uh, that six on the top. Yeah, if you, if you look at the number where it says local receipts total one point seven million, one point six eight two million, yeah. that is more likely to be. 2.282 than it is to be 1.682. So there's 800,000. So this 800,000 dollars, give or take. Raises edge. Okay. So we're going to need at least say 300,000 of that free cash, even just just to balance the revenue. You know, to to uh, how to balance the budget. I mean, we're going to need. Million, the point is that, that, that that's six hundred thousand that'll be coming back to us in the form of free cash. And it won't mm. be certified until about. September. September or October. October. Right. So, so we actually can't use it. Can't use it. So we need something for that short period of time. The only mm -hmm. thing we would have available is the hundred thousand dollars in the reserve fund. <coughs> and we would the general fund is, is a special time to need to right use the general fund money. Well, we don't have any general fund. General stabilization. Uh, I guess you could take it out of stabilization because that's there. Yeah, you could do that if you were in a pinch. Right. And we have the hundred thousand dollars in the reserve fund. Right. That's, as far as I know, that's all that's available for spending. Except that we've got a budget of fifteen million dollars that's been appropriated. So if we needed to. We could actually go into individual budgets, and we could, if we got in a real bind, we could take a hundred thousand here, a hundred thousand there, and a hundred thousand someplace else to cover, and then put it back, put, pay back and them. then put it back as soon as. So it's not that we have to that that we would have to shut down the town because we had a no, three or four hundred thousand dollar expense that we actually had the dollars to pay, and in fact, what would happen with that is. If we approve those expenditures, if we could approve those expenditures because we have their budget in some place, then the treasurer would just write the check. Okay. And so, then we would appropriate So the if our budget was approved, let's just continue on with this sheet. Mm -hmm. What we voted, we'd, ha we'd have an excess of 205000 At least. I, so I, I want to get There's a $350. Change there. Negative 150 and a positive 205. Why don't we get 300? We didn't. We didn't turn down 350 thousand dollars worth of budget items, did we? What's that? We didn't reduce budgets by 350 thousand dollars. By 350 thousand. Yeah, you got a negative 150 plus a positive 205. That's 350. If I, if I'm reading this correctly. It's these numbers added up. Yeah, see, these numbers here that were not have not been voted on have That's not, what, okay. not carried across. And, yeah. and, and something there's something else in there because this. Uh, That's no, okay. It's, it's, so the capital these, stabilization is two hundred thousand of it, and the snow yeah. and ice is fifty six. Two hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. So there's two hundred sixty seven. So there's there's, 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 so there's, right there's three hundred thousand sitting right there between yeah. the. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's what it is. Okay. We need to change this. This is getting too confusing. No, it is. Well, I, I think I, what I'd like to see before I vote on capital savings, I'd like to see what we're using and what we're going to have potentially left. What we have left. I based like on take, the selectman's budget. I'd like to take this free cash number out and leave this right. 15, 14.5 million. So then, we'll, then we can vote and how then much we to can use. See the, then we can see the deficit. See the deficit. And then we can say this is yep. how much we have to use to balance the budget and how much we want to use to fund For stabilization. stabilization. Yep. Instead of piecemealing it. Trying to, trying to back it in? I yep. just want to see it up yep. front. Okay. So I think people Perfect. need to know that we're using this money. Mm -hmm. It's not going to reoccur. It's going to end up like retained earnings with skims. It's going to continue to reduce the more we have to use. We know we have potential of 5% increase in salaries or 6% increase yep. next year. Mm -hmm. I, I feel comfortable people, with that. People are going up Let's, to the top of that list. It cuts the percentages down. 
they're going to, as soon as they get to the top of this, we're going to start over again, like well, we did this time. I, no, because we we are we are applying the uh, the colas, which they never did before. Oh, I, I understand. Uh, so that's yeah, that's ten the years of cola on this company, or well, twenty seventeen years, of two two percent or three percent, cola will double your your. No, two percent would take thirty six years to double. Okay, three percent was shorter. Three percent is eighteen. Eighteen years. The 18 the, years of 3% coal, you now have twice as much money as you were making before. That's, that's the rule of 72. Yeah, that's it. I know I learned that in math. So I can't remember. It's the only thing you learned. <laughs> you can't even remember. Well, when you're 70 it years be, old, you can't even really remember years. as much as you have to. Hey, I got a few years on you. I remember it. It wouldn't be 18 <laughs> years. Would it It'd be 26 years? What's that? 18, you, 70, 30, rule, rule, of se years. rule of 72. Right. Uh, so it'd be three three percent. Three percent would be twenty four years. Uh, twenty four years. Yeah. yeah. Not right. not eighteen. Two percent would be thirty six years. So right. in five, it, we're talking if we these raises continue, if they all were to continue in the steps for ten years, we'll all be at the top. Then we'll have the two percent. In another twelve years, fourteen years after that, we'll have probably tripled the salary because we're increasing at five percent every year as a step. So, I mean, nobody's looked at that pro projection yet. What, what's going to happen to... And that salaries. doesn't even include the uh, benefits or anything else. The benefits you're... going up. And once you increase the salaries, or all the benefit charge to the mm -hmm. county's going up. We're going to have to fund OPEB. All these things, we're not just project, doing a projection. So let's start with this. Let's start with getting a number so we know how much we're okay. actually going to have to okay. commit to this budget. Because that might mean we have to commit at least that much money next year. I, I at, agree with you, Bruce. That we, makes, we have that makes so much in stabilization sense. that we know that you're going to have to spend. Right. There's so many things on your five-year plan mm -hmm. in stabilization you will have to spend. So. Right. I don't know. Sometimes. And I just soon cease. I'd like to see it. Real budget. We have this money. This is the real budget. This mm -hmm. is how much money we have. We're going to dedicate so much to it. Right. And this is the balance we have and how we want to use it. Yep, I agree. I feel comfortable with that. Okay, so let me just go through here so that I can, when I talk with Brenda tomorrow and Wendy or whomever, we've got nothing on page one and page two that we need to discuss. We're all set with those, correct? Correct. Nothing on page three. Um, the tractor. It's not on page three. Wait a minute, it's not on page three. It's not on page three. It's on page four? It's on page four. Everything is on page oh, four. Oh, sorry, yeah. okay. So <laughs> we already did wastewater treatment yeah. expenses, so those are done. Uh, we did reserve fund. Uh, we've done SCEMS, yeah. Dickinson Library. Uh, we didn't vote that. The uh, medical security. So hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's out. That's gone. You don't even need a $1 nope. line nope. item on that? Nope, that's gone. Okay. It'll be there for the next uh, whatever. No, we won't even be there because it's not going to appropriate anything. Oh, yeah, we appropriated 50 bucks every year. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be there for the next 10 years. And then we'll get rid of it. Okay. Uh, we're all set with OPEB funding. We do need to talk about capital stabilization. Yes. We voted the capital request. We need to talk about snow and ice. Uh, can we at least pass the frontier tractor and get that the hell out of the way? Vote it? Yeah. We don't have a number. We do, 17024. No, I, I realize that. Okay. Even later than the other half. So uh, another one who can't get here to work on time. Oh, two of them are just showing up. <laughs> <laughs> we've been working hard for hours. Don't ask us what we've accomplished. <laughs> Can we vote seventeen oh twenty four? So moved. That's our share of thirty five thousand dollars. So second it. It's moved. It's seconded. Yeah. All those in favor? Uh, aye. aye. All right. Just money, right? That's right. Uh, 
Yeah. It's one of those that I would like to discuss, but I, I would too. discuss it at this point in time. And I've okay. listened to the other two towns, and they've already approved the, their shares. Okay. So it's, even if we down, they're going to get it. All right. So we are all set with this one here. So we now have a total budget. So we now have some, well, except no, for snow and ice. except for snow and ice and except for capital stabilization. Yep. But we'll, they're gonna, I, we're asking Brenda to okay. take out the capital stabilization and take out the, the balance of revenue. Okay. Anything else that we need to, uh, okay, let's pass Is this out. Is there any out. more articles we have to discuss? Uh, there are warrant articles here. Did you already get one of these? You yes, already got one of these. Warrant articles? Well, I have them. Uh, yeah, we have them. Yeah. Okay. Draft. Yep. yep. Okay. We have to. We have to recommend any more well, ones. Okay? The we don't have to. Uh, we can put. <clears throat> you know, I've asked Wendy to put into the to the warrant. Finance Committee recommends, Finance Committee does not recommend, Finance used Committee to do. makes, which is what we used to do. Right. Yeah. So, it's my understanding that that will happen. So, will we actually make that motion we, yes, that we, we No, we, it'll be here, so we don't have to make the motion. We would move it beforehand. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, and... You know, I don't really care whether we make a motion on Article One, but if somebody would like to, so move. So move what? Make the motion. The motion to accept the uh, to acknowledge the following general monetary gifts. Now wait a minute. We're we don't need to. Oh wait a minute. Article One. Article Let's One. Let's start okay. with Article Front One. Page. Okay. Sorry. Do you want to make a motion there? Yes. And I assume it's to approve. To approve. Uh, or recommend. Yeah. Okay. Article 1. All those in favor of recommending Article 1. Aye. 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 Who seconded it? I did. That's okay. four zero zero. Yep. Okay. To see if the town will vote to establish the salaries and compensation of all elected officers. That would be the compensation schedule, I believe. Uh, no, it's the, it's okay. The no, that's no, that's not just, just for the the elected. elected. Okay, elected official. We approved that already. We did. So, yeah. so you want to vote that? I think we did in the budget. Do we have to do it. Yeah, again? we do it too. Yeah. You want motions or yes? Uh, move it. Second. It's moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So that's a four zero. Yep. To see if the town will vote to acknowledge the monetary gifts. Uh, and there are three motions there, so. Move to recommend on all three motions. I'll second that. It's moved and seconded. Discussion? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero zero. Just a point, um, the, re the school reserve office, so that money is not shown in the budget for the police. That, that goes into a uh, general fund. No. At the moment it doesn't. It goes into a revolving fund. There's going to be no more revolving funds there. That's what I'm this not note sure. Says, right? No, I'm not sure. I, I, you know, I have it. it I don't really know because we, we have a whole bunch of revolving funds. So what's going to happen that. to them? So I uh, okay. It just says new advisory from DOR out today about host agreement funds. Yeah. To me, that um, must go to the general fund. We'll revisit revolving fund article. Yeah, but did you yeah. read the uh, whole context? No, they're, fi I, they're filing legislations immediately to correct that. Okay, because that when you clicked on the. PDF to all that. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. And uh, okay. To, All right. Uh, that's fine. We can just continue. Okay. That may or may not happen. May not happen. That's fine. Article four. Move the mo uh, recommend the motion. Yeah. That one. Uh, that one we have. Uh, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. Uh, I don't know if I understand Article 5 well enough to. This is the argument we had last year. Yeah, seems to me to be. And it looks like the public safety is <coughs> now a different number. Yep. And so dropped that down from what it was last year to hit at 250000 Yeah. And they dropped it down part and parcel from what I understand is their... Uh, not anticipating a whole lot happening this year <coughs> with America, America with the, e even with the host agreements if, right. and that was actually pending that but this is only a maximum they could spend without further authorization it would go into revolving fund yep but it's uh, only a maximum they can spend if there is a revolving fund it well the, the revolving fund exists but there's no money in right now right okay Do it hasn't been funded through a host agreement well, there, you're, there is there is money in the uh, recycling and parks and recreation and planning, I believe. Well, planning is all the money they get for fees. Right. I mean, recreation. But Re those those these are the four funds that exist yes. now. Uh, you're right. Okay. They're but, they're they're permanent. They're permanent until they get voted out. It used to be just, you have to vote them in every year. Yep. Now they're permanent until they get voted out. So. So this is a maximum they can keep put more money in. This is only the maximum they can take out. Without further authorization. Okay. Do we want to vote this, or we want to take? Do we want to do to uh, vote against it, or make no take no action? I make a motion to recommend. It's better than last year. Okay. We There's don't a motion have to recommend. Is there a second? I'll second it. It's moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Three. Zero one. Article six. We've we uh, only have ten thousand in that one. Motion okay. not to recommend. Okay. We have to vote. Oh, uh, we will. I just want to write it down. Uh, so, a motion, do you, let's see, are we supposed to say, are we supposed to vote this? We have this to put it in the positive, in the positive. and vote it down, Okay. Yeah. All, so was there a rec was there a motion? Move, move to Article 6. Uh, is there a second? Second. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Oh, what was that? I'm sorry, what was it? <laughs> we had to vote it's us down. Reverse. It's zero four, okay, then. zero four zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Article seven, classification bylaw. That's the compensation plan. Yes, it is. So if you vote it, you're recommending a compensation plan. If you don't vote it, your recommendation is to keep the existing compensation plan, I guess. There's, there's no, no steps. No no colas. Everybody gets steps, no, but no colas. Cola is already built into that plan that we're voting on. I know, but I was going to say, if you don't recommend it, what's the alternative? Uh, the, exist, no alternative. The, the existing compensation plan. Yes. Last year's voted compensation plan. Yeah. That's still, because that was voted by town meeting. Yeah. Okay. So what's your pleasure? Or displeasure, as the case may be. Just to let you know, I'm going to vote. I'll make a it. motion to, to discuss it. So you're making a motion to approve it? Then? Yes. I'll second right. it for discussion purposes. <laughs> okay. Do we want to discuss this again? We've, we've beat the hell out of this before. I'm voting against it. Okay. So all those in favor? Of what? For? Of the compensation plan. Yes. Much as I do re with regret because I can't see okay. treating 
So we have two in favor. Opposed? Opposed me. I'm going Stid to oppose. You're going to oppose it? Yep. Two zero. Does not, we do not recommend. Not until they come up with a, a change in step. Okay. Uh, article, article eight. Okay, these are all the, well, and these, we have yeah, recommendations, we've already, sir. Yeah, we've got all these. We've got recommendations on all of these. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we not? Yeah, we want to. Article 9. That's developing a sewer enterprise fund? It's the change it to an enterprise yep. fund. You have a motion? Yes. I second. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So four, it's unanimous? Yep. Ten. Uh, Move the money. We've already done that. Okay, so let's, let's just vote it again anyways. A motion. Accept Article 10. You know, okay. Is it moving? It's moving the, the, the res, all the reserves. The, over to yeah. The, okay. Let me maybe. I'm I'm not so sure. I totally understand the sewer fund. If this gets voted in to take effect June 30, 2018, can we spend money out of that without the free cash being certified? Yes, because we're using the, if we are using free cash, the free cash that we're using is the 1.8 million that was certified last October. Right, but this is going into, it wasn't certified. But they have their own account. Right now they have their own account. Well, yeah, but it's not, but the minute you put it in an uh, enterprise fund, it's like the uh, EMS that has to go through its own free cash certification before Anything can be but appropriated. Nothing be free until. Well, no, you're, you're take, we're putting money into it. Whatever money right. exists, I think we're putting into it. We're putting. So we're it's putting, not. It's not going to stop things, is what I'm concerned. I don't think so. I mean, I, I'm okay. I'm not the lawyer, but well, my impression in the article was to take. Say they have a million dollars to take that million. Dollars I know. What the, I know what the intention was. You know, and I and I'm but not opposed then, to that. Then they can spend that money until they run out. Well, until they collect the next. Well, un, until un, they can spend up to eight hundred nine thousand six hundred twelve dollars. Right. But after that, any money that comes in, which would be the right. summer billing, right? Or, in October. I, I right, don't know. Still, the, I don't you know. Still can't, exactly. You still can't spend it until you it, can't spend that until it's recertified. So well, no, we can we sure. can spend that as long as it's not doesn't exceed this eight hundred and nine thousand. Oh, right, right. right. And, and I think the and annual then saying anything yeah, so above that. Yeah. Would the would annual, right now the annual wastewater treatment plant expense. I don't think okay. well, well, it to exceed that. We should check because that's where it is, right? Well, okay. they can't exceed it without a vote of town meeting. We have. Right now, five, six, seven, fifty, seven, forty-two committed for waste monitoring plant for nineteen. Well, I just, I just, you know, and, and I don't remember exactly, but I know it was like a year and a half before we could do anything with the skims thing because yes, don't. Well, don't. they were half a year beginning. Yeah, but so I'm, you know, as long as it doesn't hold things. Well, up, I don't think we've appropriated more money than they currently have. No. If we have appropriated, if we had appropriated more money than they currently have, I think we'd have a problem. No. Okay. All right. Uh, so was a motion made? Hang on a second. Well, hang on a second. There is a little bit of a problem here. <laughs> I'm not sure where they get the numbers from. Um, two sixty-five, two ten. We voted. Uh, 742. Where are we? We voted a total of 742,000 or 743,000. Yeah, that only covers the expenses. The, the rate has an excess. But if you look down below, it says expenses. And we're not voting those because we already voted. 
265. Yeah, those expenses of we've already voted. <coughs> those aren't the numbers we voted. That's correct. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> Where? <coughs> Third, fourth, fourth page, we voted 252. Six. 265, 210 is good. We did? Where did we vote that? Well, in the minutes uh, we voted. 3, 328, 18. Uh, look at our current minutes. It's on the current minutes. Okay. Well, you take a we look at We had three motions. Tomorrow. Yes. Are those, uh, do those, are those the motions? The amounts? Yes. Okay. 265, 210. 516, 206, and 28196. Right. So whatever they add up to. Well, that okay. add, must add up to 809612. They're all the same numbers. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So good enough. So somebody made the motion. I it's, did. It's moved. It's seconded. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero zero. It does come <laughs> tight, but. It is tight. <coughs> I don't think they have much more than 900000 yeah. in reserves, if we look at that sheet. No, but they'll bring in money during the year. Understood. Okay. All right. Uh, South County EMS. We voted it already. Yep. So we do recommend. Um, What's the capital? Capital expenditures, no? There's none. And that's not true. Well, never mind. Where's the 100,000? Reserves. Okay, the 100,000 reserves. From what I understand, we, we voted 100,000 in reserves in their total budget. They need to outfit a building. And they're gonna use what I heard at the last Skims meeting. They're gonna use the money, they, the 108,000 they've already appropriated for the ambulance to outfit the building. <coughs> then they're gonna pay the ambulance back can they, can they do that? I don't know. Well, I mean, with, with a financial, uh, Carolyn is a financial advisor for As I understand, group. Unless, it, unless it's voted for a specific project, they can't. And, for example. But they do, they told all the towns there's a 57,000 capital expense that they're putting aside. For the ambulance. Right. But that doesn't show anywhere. There's no, no, no vote on that. So are they? It's not there. That's what I'm saying. It's not. Saying. It's not there. It's not even in the budget. That's because it says none. So there is no capital expenditure. Just holding back retained earnings. So it's, it's all in retained earnings. We don't know how much they have left in retained earnings. Do you approve any? Uh, we had recommended the, the 57 for the ambulance, and uh, as far as the building out build. We put that on hold. So there is no capital. Okay. There, there is no capital per se. Uh, Brenda did mention right. that the 57 couldn't be shown because it was enterprise fund. Yep. Yeah. Couldn't be shown okay. right. until the year he spent it. Until the year. Right. right. And okay. that's right. a couple so of years right. away. So, so we've already voted that. Doesn't change it. Okay. Uh, Article 12, we voted that, right? Um, we voted the 349, 895. Yeah, but that, I thought that was going to change. To what? We still have, don't have the sewer study in there that this, we talked about. And they were going to add it after the fact. Remember? That was left to the select board. Right. Right. And, uh, and I last know, I knew, they didn't know what number to stick in there. Right. I think there's a, a range right now. At least uh, they have a proposal. I believe it's upwards of $85,000. 
but that's being reviewed. So, I mean, this number could change before the before it goes. They could break. amend that, right? Uh, Do we want to vote it? But where? Should we additional line it? For what? Source study. It's going to come out through reserves. Yeah, but they never even uh, put down the capital on the CIPC. So they'd have to put it. They, but remember, we had the discussion. They have to put it back in the capital. They reserves. have to put it back in the. They'd have to put it back in this motion that we've already voted. Correct. Didn't we the vote? The select did, board would have to amend that. And the three seventy-five. Yes, they'd have right. to amend. They'd have to yeah. amend that. That's so, uh, Article Ten. So we've already voted the three seventy-five. So we don't have to vote it again. Uh, okay. yeah, that's right. Okay. Article XX. So we're good on 12? Yeah, yeah 12 is no vote. Now we, we voted this one, right? We already voted 12. So, yeah. You voted 12? Yeah. Yes, we already voted 12. And they'll have to amend that's it. The, uh, that's the oh, capital. Yeah, but capital the finance things. committee, we have it. Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Last yeah. meeting. Oh, it, it, yes. individually on other. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we, we went yeah. down we through the list. Of, okay. And typically... I mean, I don't have a problem with this. Typically, don't we vote those individually? This is probably the same way that we uh, do the omnibus budget. Yeah, we go down line item and put a whole. We line? probably should. I, I don't think we have in the past. And then, if people have an objection, <coughs> <coughs> and we did vote the the tractor tonight, that was four yeah. zero zero. Yeah. And we did not take any action on this. Yep. No Which is that? Uh, number 13. Right. So I'm, I'm going to put no recommendation at the moment. All right. I mean, 14 is the same way. So they don't even put a sum in 14. Is that... So. 70,000. Next page. Oh. To the motion. That's where the 70 came from. Unless you want to change your mind and make the recommendation. Awaiting final numbers. Leave it. Article 15. We don't have a vote on that. Oh, uh, we actually do. We do. We well, we don't have a vote, but we could. Make, we don't. We only make recommendations. I mean, and we, and we don't have a recommendation on CPA funds, do we? That's we the, typically make a recommendation, but we make them at, at town meeting. Or uh, we make them. Uh, I wouldn't make any recommendation because I haven't seen in the past. The, in the past, because they never presented anything. No. In the past, uh, when they used to put this stuff, they used to just put right under no recommendation. Yeah. Um, they didn't put a yet a <coughs> or an A. Do you, do you want to have uh, Alan Sweetland come in next week and talk to us about it? I know what it's all about, but, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, that's up to them to uh, present it to us. Uh, well, Alan asked if if we wanted him to come in. Uh, I can tell so, you what it's about if you want. I mean, I, well, do you well, want to vote it? That's I, the question. I, I, sat, I sat in on the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the meetings, uh, the... Uh, do you want us to vote it? I'll make, make a motion for uh, uh, the first motion and the second motion to recommend. One in the, oh, wait a minute. The so, number, so. What's that? The first motion is a big long one. The second motion is a big one. What are they actually? The first two are just moving the cash. That, no. Yeah, they, 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 they forgot uh, uh, an estimate. Access. For, uh, right. uh, Redoing the Tilton Monument in the uh, Brooks is it the Brookside Cemetery? Yeah, Brookside Cemetery, uh, which is pretty reasonable. Three fifty. Uh, the second motion is replacing the uh, uh, louvers up in the first church, yeah. up in Deerfield. They're uh, supposedly they're going to match what's there. And uh, I thought we voted that down originally. The CPA. Before. That, I I thought that that. 
No, we haven't was, taken any. No, I mean, in, years ago when they, they came in, the first church came in for money? I don't remember. <coughs> I thought we could. Was it, maybe I'm incorrect. Because they, we, did, we did railings up there. and that, that Yeah, got, we did? And that got approved. Okay, that got approved. Fine. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, 5000 for. I just hate to see it. How about if we just leave those with no recommendation? Yeah, and then we, we can come back to them. Uh, before we go tonight, if we want to have Alan come in and talk to us, we can, we can do that. I mean, this uh, is the first time I've seen them, so I don't Yeah. We already voted number 16. We voted 17. Yeah. I don't know what 18 is. Uh, it wasn't clear to me that uh, when, oh. Brenda, when Brenda mentioned it, it wasn't clear to me that. I thought they did that last year. Yeah. Uh, Is that something know. they have to There's, do every year? I don't know. Uh, you want to put no recommendation? Uh, yeah, I think this was Skip, I mean, uh, Kip's proposal that. I don't know. I thought it was 6000 last I year. I don't know. I thought it was six last year. This is, no, we didn't. But no, it, was, it seems to me it was 25000 last year, wasn't it? No. No, everything had to come I to the selectmen for approval. in five years. I thought okay. this was basically what we had last year. Well, this. The number's high line, so I think yeah. it's still In any event, uh, number 19. This is because of the five year program now? I yeah, so. which they already did. They already I signed. Thought, I thought so too. And I guess my secondary question would be is Wendy assigning them as procurement officers? So, no recommendation, and we'll talk about it. Which she can do. Which she can do, yes, but. Uh, but, yeah. But otherwise, it has to go through the procurement office as far as How I How about know. number 20? Anybody know what that is? Not a clue. <laughs> so no recommendation. No. Number 22 was thrown out. Or there's a placeholder, I'm not sure which. I mean, 21, 22. How do you phrase that? Number 22, do not recommend. Do, okay, do, I make a motion, do not recommend. Second. Okay, it's moved, seconded, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's 4-0, unanimous. So why do we do a reverse on the other one? Uh, we didn't, we, we, we voted 0-4-0. Right. Move but, to recommend but, zero four yeah, zero. Yeah, but now we're moving not to recommend. Okay. Do you want to change that so we, so we're positive? Move to recommend. Move to recommend what? Article twenty two. Article twenty two. So how do I, if I move to recommend that it's forwarding it? And you, yeah, but then you, you, you vote second it. it. Then you're going to vote. Then we're all. Oh, we okay. That's what we did last oh, okay. time. Okay. Right. Like move move last to time. recommend. Sorry. Second. All those in favor. All those opposed? Aye. Aye. Zero, four, zero. Okay, 30, that's 35, isn't it? So the next page is. What's that? The actual article is 23. Chapter 22, and then article 23 is on page 15. Yeah. This, this is the work clause one. This is Bruce's motion. Yeah. Uh, and I think it has to be done as two separate articles to begin with because you're accepting two separate. Uh, uh, One's the. Enterprise fund, 
What's that? Is it because of the funding? No, one, one, is, to, one is to purchase no, one, one is, is to lease. one is to purchase lease. and one is to lease. Do you want to vote them both separately? I would think that they have to be. Well, then you're going to get it changed. So you, article, want to, right? you want to make the want to make the motion okay. for which one? Um, make the motion that uh, for GL Chapter Forty Section Six J Six J through Six L. No Six J. It's Six J is the purchase and GL Chapter Forty Six L. Six so L is the lease. I don't know what you have. I just do that. Can we have a motion on each one of them? Well, I don't think time. that I don't think that means any difference between lease and purchase. Yes, the six L and six J. Huh? I, I was trying to find out which one. Chapter forty. I don't care. Well, Do you care? Well, yeah. I'd one of them's I, lease and one of them's purchase. You're gonna I, I don't know if it is or not. I'd, rec I'd I'd recommend the lease, but not the purchase. All right, so we'll leave this. So in no, we would about have some, uh, a service come in, provide work clothes, and take them back and clean them. Yeah. So but, how about if we leave this with no recommendation mind. until we get there? Oh, okay. Right. We can talk about it next we'll, week. We'll do it next time. Um, I, I think we need to pass on the next article. Okay. No recommendation. Mosquito Control District. I've, I've already, yeah, we're passing on it. Language awaiting. Yeah, I'm awaiting the same Article 25. Feed. Sales tax on the uh, marijuana. 20, 24 we missed. We passed on that. 20, no, we've passed on X, no number article. It's article oh. number number. Article 24 is. How about 24? This is extending liquor licenses? Yep. Three and three. So three additional, OK. I don't think we have to. It's not a money article. We don't have to. But we can put no recommendation. I would say no. I have not known enough about it. Anybody agree? Anybody liquor licenses? We want to vote on liquor licenses? No. no I, I agree. Increase? No recommendation. We don't know enough about it. We haven't been. I don't know who's got them, who needs them, what right. they're trying to do. Exactly. Uh, Article 25. Um, it's three percent sales tax on the sale or transfer of marijuana <coughs> or any related products. One of you just passed approved. Um, So obviously it doesn't go into effect unless, unless there's. Yeah, but they, what they got is three percent on the sale. They also got three percent on the profits. Got me. So I don't even. I think if there's more that we can get, we should be looking at that. If you're. Well, is, it, is the profits a, a part of a, the host agree, agreement? That could be. So can we? Do you want to vote this three percent? I don't think. I think I that's the maximum that we. It is to. by general law's maximum you can get three okay. percent. So. So why don't we just go ahead and vote this one, and then right. we'll check on the other one. Or do we want to do not recommend or just no recommendation? Well, if there's no recommendation, uh, I just soon recommend three percent sales tax. If that's the best we can do, we'll take it. If we can do better, we'll do better. <coughs> <laughs> so you're making the motion, Skip? I'll make the motion, yeah. Second? I'll um, second it. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'm going to abstain. 
Abstain. Yeah. Three zero one. Article twenty seven. Zoning, I don't think we have to make a recommendation. This is all the marijuana zoning. Yep. Oh. No recommendation? No. Nope. For me. We all in agreed? No recommendation. My hands are getting. Yeah, we're getting. We get second article 27. I think it's the same thing. Continuation, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, the first one, first one, first article twenty-seven probably should be article twenty-six. Well, they have no numbers in there, so I don't think they're finalized. The but one, the, with, the one, the chapter one twenty-one stuff should be twenty-six, right. and then the chapter, the next one should be. So there's no recommendation on that, also. Yep. Article 28, no recommendation. We yeah. have two, two Article 27? 28, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll make and a motion to recommend. See if the town vote to amend the zoning bylaws. 28, as I got is uh, is uh, forward to the next special town meeting a warrant article requesting reduction from 3% to 1%. That's what I have. Well, see if there isn't, isn't 228. On page 24. How about page 17? Take a look 17. at page 17. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, so, 228. So, so the first 28 is no no recommendation. Wait, what do you got, two article 27s? Two 28s. What's that? Two 28s. Well, I got two 27s. We got two of those, too. Well, I'm, we're not, as far as I can see, that's all the zoning articles. We're not taking any action. Article 28. See if the town will vote. Second Article 28. Yeah, 28, 28 B. And a half. 28B. See if the town will vote to, that the selectmen put forward at the next special town meeting a warrant article requesting the, the present community preservation charge of 3% be reduced to its Surcharge of one and a half percent. Can I ask the petitioner to explain why we're going to a special? Don't ask me. I know I'm asking the petitioner. What's that? Because uh, the way the, the way the uh, uh, law is written, uh, it has to be amended or and or repealed the same way that it was instituted. That that was my understanding too. And, That's why and I wanted so, to which statement. means it has to go through special and on a ballot. Okay. And that's why the most they can do yep. is, is that was, that's fine. ask yes. public opinion, give the public a uh, Another chance choice. to voice themselves yep. and that's one way perfect. or the other. So in a special town meeting, we can have a ballot? Uh, I'm not sure how that goes. They would have to set it up as a ballot. But, you know. Bruce, no. it, it's too late now, but you could have done a special town meeting prior to, prior prior to this. But the special town after. meeting, I would have had to run around and get uh, uh, 200 signatures, too. Oh. Yes. Okay. You know, that's... Uh, the way it would probably work is we have a special town meeting sometime from May until November, and then you can have the ballot. Annual election. Right, well, but we haven't had a special in, in between special town meeting for two years now. That might right. happen, though, this year. Yeah. So with the sewer and that. You, you know, you but you still, unless the select board will, will voluntarily put it on the... Uh, uh, warrant it has to be d uh, done by a 200 uh, minimum 200 signatures uh, I, I think you could force this one if you if you vote if the town meeting votes this I would have to assume that's sufficient you could ask the question of, of uh, council at the about what is the what ballot well if there is a special town meeting but will the selectmen be required to put this article on? No. Why not? Even though the town meeting says yes? It doesn't this, say anything about ballot. This is, this is an instructional right. only. This is, is this instructional? Because, because, because there, is no, there, is no, there is no authority in this at an annual town meeting. Right. 
So they're instructing the selectmen to put it on the next special town meeting right. as a no, vote. You're missing my point. My okay. point is that if we vote this at the mm -hmm. town meeting, right? Will that, in and of itself, force the selectmen to put this on the next special town meeting? No. So they could ignore it? Yep. Unless they get torn about torn. <laughs> just the way they have ignored other things. Right. That isn't, this well, is no. This is not being set up as right. an instruction to officers. Well, that's what I'm wondering if it's, that's an, that's to be in a different place. Is that we ask, well, yeah, this is not an instruction last, to officers. It's the last thing we do at a town meeting is instruction to the officers. Yeah, and this is not an instruction to officers. This is a warrant article. This is a warrant article. So, you I recommend, will. do we recommend this? I recommend, I'll make a motion to recommend. I'll second it. It's moved to second. And all those in favor, or all those in favor of recommending this article? Aye. Aye. So. Four zero zero? Yep. Mm hmm now we've got instructions to officers. Yep. So we recommend this one, right? Or no recommendation. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we actually accomplished something tonight. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. I think we did. And and we are meeting next week, six o'clock. And I will get. If Brenda can't be here, we will get a detailed. description of what the financial situation of the yeah I think that would be really no, I, th I th yeah I think that's not unreasonable next meeting is going to be Tuesday the 10th Tuesday 6 o'clock 6 o'clock you know what? And we're going to get out of here in less than two hours. Well, that's uh, amazing. If somebody makes a motion, we will. Well, you know, I, I'll tell you. I, I, want to I just want to <laughs> okay. comment on a couple of things that yeah, we started discussing last week. We're um, not going to get out of here. That's all right. Well, no, no. <laughs> no, we can. You turned into a good discussion and made me look up things because you had asked about, you know, why we shouldn't be considering that uh, property values have been increasing uh, over time. And so I did a little research, and this is, I have two comparisons. Can we copy that? 2007. Yeah, if you want. Sure. And uh, 2018. One, two, three, four. Well, I'll, I'll make okay. a copy. <coughs> Can I put these back to back on this? Sure. Or do you want them? No, uh, well, two, two and two on the same page. Yeah, yeah. These, these two yeah. back to back. Yeah, these two yeah back -to -back. that'd be fine. You made me write more. Mm -hmm. You're going to make me write more. <laughs> I'm just putting discussion. Yeah, see, this is this is all the stuff that's in the personnel. This Article One, yes, which is terms in ineligible vacancy duty presentation board uh, filing of annual report. All done. Thank you. Too much. That doesn't even include all the benefits and everything in the middle. And a lot of that it does become policy, but unfortunately, unfortunately, if you. Thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, shall appoint a per the select board shall appoint a committee of five members. Yeah, that can't happen. <coughs> so, but that's not an article. Yeah. What? Is it a bylaw change? Has to be a change to a town meeting. Well, but it's not. There's no nothing. We just went through. Yes, there is. What? What do we skip? We we passed over it. No recommendation. One, two. <coughs> Was article two? Uh, no, it was it was in there. Which one was that? The personnel one. <coughs> yeah, we we addressed that. Yep. Uh, not recommended. Which one was that? What's the number? Uh, okay, it's on page thirteen and fourteen. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Gil. Okay, yeah, gotcha. 
Yeah. Yeah, not recommended. And you get all the rest. I get all the rest? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> a couple of people's uh, boxes. So what article number was it? Oh, 13 and 14, page 13, 14. Seven. I know. Oh, personnel committee, there it is right yeah. there, 22. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. First two, they're on front and back of the uh, LA Force. One is from 2007 and one is from 2018. Is that this one? Yep. That, that one and this is... This is the 2018 uh, one right here. If you want to take one of those, then, then we'll all look the same. No. No, that's it. That's it. Well, take the first page. No, I, I have mine right here. I know. But okay. it, anyway, if you look, 2017, uh, 2007, uh, if you look the bottom line there, just for the uh, First one is your exempt value in town is 158.8 million dollars. Uh, okay, so please do me a favor. Point it out where the bottom, bottom line. Li bottom line, uh, lower right hand corner. Exempt value. Ex oh, okay. It says exempt value. Okay. In 11 years, that has grown from 158.8 million to 200 and almost 283 million. Yep. The Values of in this town, uh, and if you look at some so of this, this is loss of real estate. You're saying no, it that. is not. It, it is not all loss of real estate. That is, they have got, undergone a tremendous amount of renovation, improvements, building, and so forth. Okay, so so that that is the value of the property. That does not have a physical number that you they we lost the property or anything else. This is the valuation only of the town. So okay. what does exempt mean? Exempt would include um, uh, churches. Not, not subject to tax. Yeah. That's what I thought. So that. Churches, so, state-owned property. So some of that includes. Town-owned property. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, so educational. Um, 20,000. Okay. So, uh, but if you, if you t t do that as a percentage, uh, if you go one line up, your real and personal property tax on 2007 was 669 million seven hundred thousand. If you deduct the 13,000 uh, of uh, personal property tax and do strictly uh, real property, yep. you have a 656.4 million dollars taxable property. Yeah. Of that. Uh, of that, the 158,158.8 million dollars is 20 is 24 percent of the uh, Tax value of the property at that time. At that time, you go to 2018, you do the same math, and you have a 647 million dollar value of this town that is taxable less the personal property and uh, the uh, tax exempt property, which is almost 283 million. That jumps at this point in time up to 43.7% of the value of this town is tax exempt. And uh, if you also look at the other columns, your residential on both of them, your residential property has only increased about $2 million, uh, less than $2 million from 2007 to 2018. Your uh, commercial, has deteriorated from 68 million down to 62.6. Your industrial has uh, uh, deteriorated from 78.5 down to 73. So that's why your tax rate is going up. Because let, let me ask you a question here. Yep. So if I subtract the exempt property in 2007 from the total the 669 or the right. whatever number you want to use, yep. the yep. 656, yep. then I'm down to about 400,000, right? Mm, yeah. Or 400 million, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. So roughly 400 million. And if I do the same thing Four. today, five. I take the 681. Is it a 5 million? And, and deduct 282 from that, or I take the 647. And deduct 282, 
and I'm down to 350 million. Yep. So the, the taxable, property value is taxable in, property has gone from 400 million to 350 million. Right. Well, and, well you subtracted five, six five hundred. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Well, five hundred thousand. Would I? Five hundred million. What did I say? Four. Four. It's actually six fifty minus one fifty eight is five. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. It yep. is. Or it's pretty close million. to it. I know. So it's five hundred million. That's Versus four hundred million. That's taxable. Versus no. Oh well, yes, you're, you're uh, right. right. The six sixty nine. Um, but it, we went from does, does not include the uh, uh, exempt value, so you don't subtract the one fifty eight from that. Uh, six sixty nine from one fifty eight. No. No. It's already included in. No, it's not included. That is. But I think that's comparison that Skip is making. Okay. Yeah. One six six sixty nine from one fifty eight. Now it's going six. 681 from 283. So if I so I need to subtract the 283 from 681. From what's the 647? That's the 647 uh, is the minus 34 893. Okay, so I need I do need to subtract the 282 yep. from the 647. Yep. So that gives me no three. No 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 no. The tax exempt line is the, is not included in your real real and personal property total value. That that line is your taxable uh, line. Which line? What's the tax? Okay. What's the six forty seven? If you if you what's add up all the six forty seven over here, the six forty seven is uh, the six eighty one nine less the personal property value. So six forty seven is the is the taxable is the total property value. Total taxable property value. Right. You minus the six the thirty four thousand from it. Right. To give you the, just the property. Yeah. Not the personal property. Right. But this is taxable or total value? This is the six eighty one uh, six eighty one less the personal property of thirty four nine gives you the taxable property in this town. Yeah. And that's the okay. same as six fifty four, six fifty six in two thousand seven. The same number. So you're 656 in 2007. So let's go back to the front page. It says real and personal property total value. Right. 669, the same. 712. If I subtract 13,000 from that, I get 656, 473 in a little bit. Yep. That is the total property. It includes both taxable and non taxable. No, taxable only. This one says real and personal. Okay, add, okay, you have to add up to five ten. All right, let me just. Okay. And uh, sixty eight. And the seventy eight five. Okay, and the thirteen, or the, or the, and then subtract the thirteen. So. Right, and the thirteen. So that gives you. So this this is tax. This is the taxable property. All of this is taxable. This is taxable. This line here. Okay. Which gives you this. Okay. That, okay. Which gives you six sixty nine seven twelve. Now what I took was the personal property out of that because yep. that is a, equipment and so forth. Yep. So that brings you down to a total valuation of six hundred fifty-six point four million. So nowhere in here is is the tax exempt property. No. Okay. No. no. So in order to do this, so you, you need to add these two together and put it down here. This is a ratio of tax exempt to taxable, but right. not, not right. the total. One fifty-eight divided by the six fifty-six yeah. gives you twenty-four percent as tax exempt. No, because well, the, to yeah, the total, total is this. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That's that's right. Right. okay. All right. But, Sorry. So it's twenty percent as opposed to twenty-four. Yeah. Percent. Yeah. Right. And this is probably thirty-nine percent. Yeah. Right. But it's still it's double. Still, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, right. No, absolutely. I agree. And and but so you know, the the property value and as if you look at your commercial deterioration, commercial industrial part of that deterioration is is the uh, uh, assessing the commercial and industrial is part of their uh, value is derived from their expenses. 
Yes. So as their expenses go up, their value goes down. So you have an inter inherent deterioration of value just by increasing their expenses, whether it be by their tax burden, their sewer burden, their uh, water burden. Anything that drives up their expenses drives down their value. Mm -hmm. if that does not happen with the, with the uh, residential. So whatever you, whatever you drive down the value over here, the residential, you're driving it up over here. It's very simple because That's you, why you, 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 you've got to have $100 worth of tax. If you can't get it here, then it goes over here. Yeah. So that would indicate the trend that we're in. The, the fact that we've had, and I'm just throwing out numbers here, the tax rate has gone from $10 to $16, and that, and that pretty well explains why that's gone. Right. To and it's going to continue that way. Because the total, and, and the population doesn't change. So the average, mm -hmm. whatever, the average taxable property value has not, has actually gone down. Yes. Yes. R residential. Well, even, even, is fluctuated even, oh. even if you add them all together, right. even, the, even man, the only thing that has kept us afloat is very substantial personal property growth. Now, of course, in that tax exempt property, you get you get absolutely no personal property that any tax exempt has to pay either. On top of that, mm -hmm. you know that's not exactly. even accounted for. Yep, it's not accounted for. You know that's all, that's only the real property. Mm -hmm. So, what about the cars that sit up? At the tax exempt property with New York plates on them, and they're there day in, day out. The New York gets the excise. Are those supposed to, well, are those supposed to be registered in Deerfield? Well, I don't know. I don't have a clue on that. If they're garaged here, it's supposed to be registered here, right? Well, by state law, if you're a resident for more than 30 days, you're supposed to change your license and your registration. Yeah. But it's just kind of a follow up on what you've asked last week. Uh, no, because, I didn't. because Thank you. I, I wasn't exactly sure where to go look. I wasn't sure either, but you know, it, it, <coughs> I, was, I was kind of shocked myself. Yeah, it is. It is I, I was assuming that we were right around 30%. It kind of shocked me to see how high we have gone. I mean, you don't see a, a big difference in, in real and personal property total value either. 669 to 681 right. in 10 years? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, and, you know, you have to understand, you have to understand, 206 and 07 was our eye. I understand. Uh, the, the, but question, you, the question But you increased the other one by 20-50%. Why? Why? Because of recession in the middle. Knocked the crap yeah. out of everybody. Right. It, it all did. the assessments went down. But has, have property values actually, if we look at property values in 2007, and then we look at property values now, the assessed value on a piece of residential property. It's about the same. Is it about the same? It's about the same. Mm -hmm. I, think yes. you've got, I guess yeah. you've got those. Yeah. I guess you've got it. It did. It did. 500? Actually, it's gone down 3,000. No, it's gone up. It's gone yeah. up 1,000. I thought I had that with me. It's gone down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. But, but the, 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 other, the other thing, I, I went to the HUD, HUD site, mm -hmm. and the average median household income is, for Deerfield, and there again, this is 2016, yep. is 76.5 for the average in there. And that, so that's the, that's the median? That is that is the median. Okay. Okay, and the per capita by the DOR in 15 is 39.7. Now, by per capita, by just to give us an idea, because you're asking about wealth and so forth, supposedly Waitley has a per capita of 22.2. Sure, you don't want to be on that committee with Carol. Uh -huh. And Sunland has a per capita of twenty nine nine. Right. So that's why we're wealthy. Yeah. Well, that that takes the. Uh, uh, all this that's the doing all the math. That's the know. income. That's the income side of it. Yeah. Right. But that's the EQV is also. We're, we have an EQV of one hundred and thirty nine thousand. Sunland has an EQ, EQV of uh, nine, ninety four. And that's part and parcel of the formula. Both of those are part yeah. parcel of that for, that foundation budget form. Right, it's, mm -hmm. it's a, but it's a little bit of everything, and uh, you know, so it, it's. Uh, Would you at least talk with Carolyn and give her that information? Either that, or write it out in a piece of paper and email it to her. 
It might be faster. I don't think that, that Sutherland has the same amount of non-taxable property either. No, no, there we go. No, that's, no, that's, no. Uh, you know, last time I looked at when I was when I was talking thirty percent, which was you know seven years ago, there was a, at that point in time uh, there was only three cities or towns in the Commonwealth that had a higher percentage of uh, uh, our, our tax exempt property. Are we done so that we can probably adjourn? at thirty nine percent? We probably surpassed them all. I guess. Can can we go ahead and adjourn? And then, oh. if you want to Let's chat, you go. Yeah. Motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.